Hey everyone, it's Rich Your Bits too. Welcome back to my channel. Don't ever change for anybody. Don't ever trade your soul. Don't even listen to him. He don't know nothing at all. Try not to get too involved. But really, it's breaking my heart. How you keep changing for him? Never forget who you are. So, again, I'm kind of filming an intro in the middle of the night, but. These are the times I edit. Today's video is actually quite a different video than usual. Basically, I got my uncle to film a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the famous pink tea, or in our terms, namkeen chai. This is a recipe that has been like in our family for so long and common thing that people make, but this is the step to make the best tea ever. And if you follow this step-by-step, -step, I'm convinced that you guys will make the best tea. So stay tuned and keep watching. Hey everyone, my name is Koji and today I'm going to be making Kashmiri Noon Chai, also known as Namkeen Chai, also known as Pink Tea. Right, in order to do that, we need one of these. It's called a patili. One of these is a ladle. A teaspoon. Magic ingredients. This stuff has come across borders in suitcases without customs knowing. I'll just zoom into that. It's called Pink tea. Right, how we start. So what we're going to do first, fill this, not fill it, but we're going to put water in it. Right. So we're going to soak that tea in here and then we're going to boil it. Then we're going to add approximately a teaspoon per cup of tea that you're going to drink. So let's say we're making it for, I don't know, four people. So one, two, three, four, that'll do. So that's in there. I could probably add a tiny bit more water. Right, that's it, the tea's in there. We've got now put this on the uh, arg and uh, boil it. Clear to uh, brown and then from brown to red and the red colour is what we're looking for. So I'm going to put this on the heat and we'll show you what it looks like. So we can see the colour starting to come out. Still a bit early days, it still needs to cook plenty. What we do to save a little bit of time, we put a bit of bicarbonate of soda, just a tiny bit. And what that does, it speeds up the reaction. So watch this. You watching? Give it a quick stir, mix, and leave it again. See the froth has started to go red on the sides. Can you see it slightly? This is about what 15 minutes in. Still not the colour we need. We have to leave it for a little longer. Right, we're gonna add some milk, not to the tea, but we're gonna boil it first. Uh, in the milk, we're gonna add some uh, ilachi. I don't know what you call it in English. Cardamom. Cardamom. That's it. So we've added about four or five. It'll flavour the milk and it will go towards making the tea very tasty. So we're gonna slow, on a slow heat, just let this heat up. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Right, so you can see that the water has uh, evaporated quite far down, because we added quite a lot. So what we're gonna do now, we've more or less got the color we needed. You can see the froth is red. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. So the tea is not yet the color we need it, but you can see the froth is starting to go red around the side. So that means the color is on its way. So it's probably still a little bit shy. What we're going to do is add some cold water. You see the colour? Again, it doesn't come across on the camera very well. What we need to do now is we'll turn off the arg, the fire, pick it up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to oxygenate the tea, which means we're going to pick it up and drop it in like this. And what it does, it creates oxygen bubbles. The oxygen bubbles then oxidises the tea and makes it redder. So you'll see You've got to do this for maybe about a good two, three minutes. Right, so now we want to strain it and get rid of the 
petite. So pour the strain tea back in here. At the end you'll see some bits. You see those dark bits? You don't want them to go in because that'll make it quite bitter. So that's the tiny bits of tea bags. So we throw that out. Look, there's still some grain there. See, it's nicely cooked. It's slightly thicker. So we're gonna put some uh, Himalayan pink salt. You don't have to put Himalayan, put any salt you want, but that is what we drink, Kashmiri's drink. People have it with um, nuts in it, with sugar in it, but we have it with uh, salt. That's probably enough. Then you'll add later to your own taste. Many oh, times oh. I've not managed to stop. This is where the magic happens. Ready, you're filming. everyone that is going to be the end of the video basically i kind of finished it off there that was when the tea was done after we mixed the milk and the tea we had to leave it to like boil or warm up or whatever for a good 20 minutes and after that take it out you got the amazing tea then the next part is to make the like pastry to go with it but i did not film that because i forgot so i thought you know what the next time we're together with my uncle we will do a little tutorial maybe a youtube short on how to make the really nice little pastry things but that was that and the tea was done after 20 minutes and it was so so delicious and it was one of the best teas that my uncle has made maybe because i was there anyways i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe turn on your post notifications do all of that jazz i love you guys so 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 much driving and stay positive see you soon